middle, Georgia. May 1st. What's the strategy going into the last hunt for you? <laughs> Wake up and kill a turkey. <laughs> he didn't go to bed till about 11.30. He didn't get off work till 10, so. What's your strategy? I don't know, coming through the gate there, there's a bunch of scratching, so. Yeah. We might have drove past them. Maybe we're getting him slammed some early. They look good. Terry said they're in here. I hope so. so. We just want to do a little opening for you guys this morning and wish everybody a good summer. This will be Clayton's last hunt probably for the year. Got it, hunt. Unless he takes himself. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. We're going to try to get out and listen to them. We already hear the whippoorwills. They want us to come in. Yeah. Just gonna go quiet on. Hey man, let me let's go quiet on. <laughs> Just don't know if I should come back down there. You know this food plot start calling. Walking away. I don't know, I've never been down there. I wouldn't have think I, I wouldn't have thought they would they would just dip off in that down. Look, there's one right there. Well, we've made it back to square one. Well, ran the bird off. Now we stop for a cracker break. We bought the entire property. We left up here a while ago. We walked over to another road and Heard a turkey goblin. He gobbled two or three times. We got out on the road and sat down and started calling. He come running down the road, him and another one. Kind of caught us off guard because we just had to sit down. I threw the fan up, showed it to him, and he showed us his ass and was gone, wasn't he, Clayton? <laughs> <laughs> He did not like that. I believe it was the same two that came up on us first thing this morning that we messed with and messed with and messed with. Getting tough. Hot. There's a little warm. Allergies are bad. Everything's bloomed out or blooming still. Well, that'd been bad, wasn't it? What's I, that? I sneezed when that turkey was right in front of me. I don't think it made a difference. <laughs> Maybe it gobbled back. As I am now. <laughs> so. Well, if we can't kill a turkey, we can kill another pack of tractors. That's the only thing we're killing right now in calories.
first foot and a half gets hot in that pipe. I'm gonna figure out how to put you a little ice pack in there. How many box stands do you think we've seen today? We got them. More than the food plots they have or not? <laughs> they got the box stands. <laughs> Somebody probably make a hundred dollars in scrap metal, all the metal they got on these box stands. <laughs> Somebody would be a millionaire if they took the lumber off of them. <laughs> the boys went as far to put rear view mirrors on them. <laughs> And they got rear view mirrors in the box stand and they got uh, tow mirrors on the side. I just let you know how lazy Terry West is. These box stands look like a Dodge Ram coming down the road. One of the kids from high school. <laughs> well, we've made it to the end of the journey today. I believe this Saturday afternoon is gonna be ended with us walking back to the truck and headed back towards Canton. We got about a two hour ride ahead of us. That's traffic pending. Looks like I'm smuggling pipe out of this hunting club, don't I? <laughs> That's my water spout I rigged up. That's the smallest tubing I could find to cover this blue. I didn't want to get shot in the shoulder. So. This is gonna be me and Clayton's last hunt for the 2021 probably. Unless something happens and we're able to go through the week. Georgia's got two more weeks, but I'm going out of town the next two weekends, chasing birds somewhere else. Any closing words, Clayton? How was no. your... We didn't get him a bird this year. Not yet. He said not yet. That means he might be going next weekend. <laughs> Maybe get his lazy dad out of the house. He might take him. <laughs> Maybe he can blow the cobwebs and rat's nest off that old box call and slate call he might have stashed away. <laughs> you and him go slam one. Wouldn't that be a good first turkey? <laughs> be awesome. We was about five minutes from having his first turkey this morning. I messed up. Turkeys were just off the hill. They were gobbling, and as you've seen in the video, they were just beyond the gas line. They were gobbling back and forth. We sat there about 45 minutes, and I had made up my mind. I kept asking him, I said, do you think I ought to go back and call and try to pull them up, or you want to try to crawl down this road bed? And I made the decision. I thought it was going to be best to crawl because I hate going back behind not being in the action. So I told him to get up and move last time they gobbled. I said, get to the edge of that gas line and wait. I said, wait for him to gobble and then cross the gas line and I'll be behind you. Well, by the time he got to the gas line and knelt down, they quit gobbling, never gobbled again. About three to five minutes went by, they popped their head up and they were right there on the other side of the gas line. I don't know if they seen me or seen him move, but they stuck their head up just for a few seconds, turned around, they were gone. Couldn't get a shot. That's how they survive, ain't it? Yep. That's what you call a good old fashioned, non patient butt whooping. <laughs> and I guarantee you, it will not, will not be my last butt whooping as long as I can turkey hunt. <laughs> It's been a mighty fine season with you. Sorry I didn't call nothing else in. <laughs> Better than what I could have done. <laughs> so. It's been fun, though. It has been fun. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep going after them. Yep. One way or another. Might get you on one of them out-of-state trips next year. <laughs> with them legs and gear.
It'll be fun. The sinuses have about whooped our butts down here, yeah. walking through these food plots. They're grown up knee high. They've about wore us out. So, y'all stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming up.